Well, over on board two, the first game there is a very exciting one. Steve Lennon wow. playing the Austrian Zoran Lerchbacher. Lennon from Ireland was 3-1 up. He had darts for 4-0. Then it went to four all. Now, as you can see, Lennon five, 84. four up. Just needing one more leg to go through. Here he is. This is for the match. Steve Lennon of Ireland. 65. And Zoran Lerkbacher from Austria. Plummer will get another chance in this game. He's clearly got plenty of fighting spirit within him. Zoran Lerkbacher, reminder, three, one down. Six. Almost 4-0 down, Eight but he's brought back to four all and now just needs to try to level. Can Steve Lennon see him off at this visit to the board? 64. Not this time. Right We're going to stay with this one. This is over on board two, remember, which is downstairs from us here in the Skyline Arena. We've just seen our first match. We've got our second match 35. coming back now. Surely Eight Steve one. Lennon Eight is two. going to book his place into the second round. Double 16 is all he needs. And he's through. Well done to Steve, Steve Lennon. Lennon. Looks pretty relieved man after all that, doesn't he? Very relieved man. But he is safely through. Now here on the main stage in the Skyline Arena, semi-finalist from last year, Darren Webster is the first man safely through to the second round. He's quite happy about it, isn't he? Showing us his moves. He's beaten the Spaniard Tony Alcinas 6-3. And he'll play the winner of the Brendan Dolan Mervyn King match. Well, next up on the main stage is the 2009 runner-up Robert Thornton against a man making his debut at the Players' Championship Finals, James Richardson. Here's John McDonald. Hello, welcome back to the action. We are coming to you from the Skyline Arena in Butlins, Minehead. For the Mr. Greens for Players Championship Finals. It's time to meet the players. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ruthless James Richardson and the four brother Santa. Still in the commentary box for us, Alan Warren a little and Stuart Pike. Yeah, thanks, Jackie. Steve Lennon and Darren Webster through to the last 32 uh, tomorrow. And here we have Robert Thornton. Big tournament for him. He's had a, a really disappointing year, uh, Robert Thornton. Um, trying to avoid dropping further down the, the world rankings. Uh, but here he is. You can see he's already down at number 27 in the world he's a much better player than that can he prove it over the next three days here in minehead uh, against james richardson another one of the 17 making their debuts here at the players championship final a 43 year old from northamptonshire could throw a mean dart that's for sure but the the conundrum that is robert thornton remains a puzzle Yes, Stuart, yeah, well, I certainly know the winning attributes the form possesses. He has shown some good signs recently, particularly in his fighting spirit. He's a player under the pressure, as you mentioned, and looked to continue his momentum against. A very potential danger in James Richardson, who himself has had some big wins on the big stage with some big players. Well, hey, James Richardson never, ever gets tired of being reminding of his great claim to fame, his win over Van Barneveld at the World Championship back in 2012. You can remind me as much as you want. Loves talking about it. Why not? Yeah, absolutely. That's fantastic in that one. 
60. Seems to do pretty well in some of the European Tour events. Qualifies to quite a few of those. Gets that big stage experience, as we've mentioned quite a few times. PDC Europe. Three, four, five thousand in the crowds there. Oh, good darts, James Richardson. Maximum. I'm sure, there'll be many more. Back comes Thornton. Oh, wonderful visit. Great reply. Well, what a great leg this has been. Thornton, 94. After nine. Richardson, 121 after nine. Bullseye. 69. James Lucky. Maguire, 121. Treble 17. Treble. Always wrong treble. Well, both players have had a fantastic scoring leg. Robbie, you require 25. This Double four. There by Richardson James as well. On the first leg. Robert Thornton. Take a leg, James, to throw first. But Thornton. Yeah, I mentioned it. about his fighting qualities. He showed them there. Great leg. From both. 60. There you see it. Fill him with confidence. Yeah, you get all the way back to that first ever Players' Championship Finals. Ten years. 14. And Fulton was beaten by Phil Taylor at the Circus Tavern. 100. We had two uh, Players' Finals at the Circus Tavern. Two in Doncaster. And this the sixth here. Uh, Butlins in my head. The great darting venue. Skyline Arena. 123. Over the years, from Robert Thornton's point of view, certainly on the Pro Tour of the Players' Championship events, he has been an annual winner, hasn't he? 59. To a final. Yeah. Van Gerwen in Players' Championship 9, a couple of semis, a couple of quarters. 83. Just needs a little bit more of a breakthrough, doesn't he, to get his confidence back. But he's sh certainly showing some pretty good signs. 28. Well, not with that visit, though. Yeah, as, as I mentioned, he's a far better player than his world ranking suggests at the moment. 83. But it should be one apiece from here. Should be. Just never know. 77. And lucky dart there from Thornton, in and out. James, you require 52. To leave a finish. 13. Well, they moved over the board a little bit, because first dart just blocked the treble. It was all over the place. 81. James, you require 39. Level 16. Seven. Well, an outside Maybe chance here for Thornton, the bounce out, which was 57 points on the floor. Probably cost him a dart and a double here. 119. James, you require 32. Missed four already. Games on the seven Gets there there in the end. Richardson. Yeah, like I couldn't Robert afford to give Robert game Thornton off. the double. Back to one apiece. 100. That snarl there, isn't he? That we're so used to from Robert. 100. His qualities there and thereabouts. 100. Small margins, though, Stuart. 40. Not happy with that visit. 100. Well, the second game over on board two features Justin Pipe and Mark Webster. We'll keep you updated on that. 58. But after that whiz-bang opening leg from both players, it went off the boil a little here. They both came out of the blocks really well, yeah, they didn't did. they? Certainly on the scoring. I thought they were in for a numerical treat. 139. Just slowed down a little bit. He's a trouble here to leave the finish. 45. Hasn't done. Bobby, you require 164. 
Well, six four, but he's got options. Should stay there. Oh, bad second one again. 78. Put the loose darts on both players in the last couple of legs. There's another one. Can they recover. Oh, 66. Loose one to the left. He's given Richardson an opportunity here, Stuart. James, you require 107. One treble. He's got the treble. He's a single. He gets it. Tops for a 107. 67. Oh. Robbie, you require eight. No, but really would have been mad at game himself if he's thrown that leg Robert away. But he gets there in the end. The it's 2-1. His second. Fulton yet to hit one. Fulton yet to hit one. Oh, he's in and out again. That's the second time, Stuart. Is it a big treble? And the dart has come out the board. I don't think it was near the wire either, was it? Well, that one there, right in the middle of the treble. Hit the flight. Hoping this will be no flight of fancy, Robert Thornton. If he loses here, it would be a big, big blow to her. his attempt to stay in the elite top 32 over the next few months. Richardson doesn't hang around. He doesn't look at his opponent's score, but he'll hear. He hasn't to look so he can hear it. So a real chance set up by 61. that first 180. So just one dart at tops. 41. Well, great scoring leg. Have that bounce out at the wrong time, but missed tops there. Richardson needs tops. 44. Ooh, just underneath. Robert, Another chance 20. for Thornton. Huge dart. Wow. The first one, I think, just put him off completely. He's missed four darts to go 3 1 up. That should be the perfect guide. And it is. So, two apiece it is. Thornton gave himself every opportunity. Couldn't take them. Well, his scoring was fantastic, wasn't he? The 180. The two trebles with the bounce out. And the 140 in that leg. Couldn't hit the double. When you get the odd dart, it's one of those that either 100. goes in or doesn't. But when you've got three clear darts in your hand as a professional, you're really, really mad with yourself for missing a massive opportunity. And again, that's come out of the board. I'm not sure if it hit the wire or the corner of the wire. It's the third occasion already. Having trouble with the board. Richardson's having trouble with the trouble. He gets 67. it with the last one. Middle ground he, is there in this map? They're either very, very good or, or very, very poor. 100. It's one of those games that's almost turning into a battle. They can drag themselves over the line. 60. Able to move. Good adjustment. 100. James, you require 150. Well, realistically, he was looking for another treble there. 144 is doable. 134. Robbie, you require 144. Well, from missing four darts to go 42. 3 1 up, James, it could 16. be about to go behind. Eight. Well, chance, an outside chance. Robbie, you require 100. It's a dart there. I'm sure it hit the big eight. See a dent in the number. 
No, it's not in Robert. Not with himself again. 54. Another chance for James Richardson. Already missed the double. Oh, the last dart in hand. So there we go. Robert Thornton will be desperately disappointed. He knows he really could have been 4 1 up. Instead, he's 3 2 down to James Richardson but with it all to do. Day one of the Players' Championship Finals here in Mindham. Welcome back to the Players' Championship Finals over on board two. Mark Webster and Justin Pike doing battle and maximum for the Welshman. Uh, Webster won the first two legs. Justin Pike has just got one back. So 2-1 to Mark Webster in the second game over on board two. 100. Here on the main stage in the Skyline Arena, Robert Thornton. The feel he should be 4-1 up, he's losing 3-2 to James Richardson. Richardson may be only averaging 81, but he's taking all the chances that Robert Thornton is gifting him. Yeah, certainly some missed opportunities from Robert going into that break. It will certainly prey on his mind. 57. And when you're in that stage of your career when you're slightly vulnerable, disastrous 60. effects. I need to see some of the Robert Thornton fighting qualities. The scoring on the whole has been pretty good. 60. The winner of this will play Kim Hybrex or Chris Doby. We'll be seeing them on the on the main stage a little later this afternoon. 97. Chance here for Richardson. 140. Makes himself 64. Robert way, way back on 288. You really feel he needs to fill this. He really does. One and fill it, he does. Second maximum. 24. Well, the 180 just putting a little Robert pressure on Richardson. Can he finish it off? Yep. Tops for Thornton. This would be an absolutely yeah, brilliant check out. Game. The 180 Thornton. followed by the 108, and he's back in it. That's what he's capable of. Well, we mentioned his fighting qualities. And he's shown that there. Seven play, Robert, two from first. Brilliant six darts from Thornton. Yeah. Be oozing with confidence at the moment after those two visits. Well, here he goes. Here he goes. Richardson missing one dart. To go 4 2 up. The Thornton will feel that the initiative is perhaps 60. back with him. It just shows you that the leg is never over. He wanted 64 with Thornton back on 288. Well, a case in point over on board two, we 95. just saw Mark Webster start that fourth leg with a, a maximum, but he lost it. Justin Pipe has got it back to two all. 140. Found his range really well since yep. the break. He really has. This is the Robert we like. It's, it's amazing, isn't it, what just six darts can do for you? Sometimes even three darts. The 180, the 108 finish. And he looks a different player. 46. Tops when he comes back, and he will, of course. He needs to kill it quickly, doesn't he? Just to keep the Robbie momentum Robbie going into the next leg and having two fabulous scoring legs and finishing well. That should be a good guide for him. 
20. Well, he hit the flight, didn't he? James, you require 156. More missed starts at double from Thornton. Another one of those for Richardson. Oh, how about this? Double 18! That would have hurt. Oh, that really 20. would have hurt. Game shot the seventh leg. Robert Go on, he says. He finishes numbers. off after Richardson missing a dart for a, a big, big finish. Some game now, isn't 140. it? 140. Yeah, the brave dart raw from the fiery Scott. Fifty-five. Eighty-three. Doing the right thing, just standing back. Sixty-six. A mixed bag. One hundred. Richardson throwing first in this leg. Ross Thornton. Forty-five. Scoring has been fabulous in the last two legs since the break. He's just lost it in this one. One hundred and forty. And we could be going the distance here. Richardson has left double nineteen. 140, James, you require 38. I think he'll split. Yep, six for 16. There we have it, six for double 16, and it is four apiece. Game on. Trying to G himself up, just had a quick look at Thornton's score. Tried to split, the decision was a good one. We should like here. 140. The wins it. One leg away. Both players are very, very aware of that fact. 121. A lucky deflection. For Scott. 81. Managed to get that last one in through. Two out to either side. £460,000 in prize money at Minehead this weekend, 100000 for the winner. And James One Richardson against the darts with a perfectly timed 180. Both players fighting away for this leg, 92. very crucial leg. Richardson's point of view, it would be a break as well. Crucial darts here. Double ten for Richardson. 80. And he's missed it. Robert, you require 52. Well, what an opportunity. Will he be made to pay by Game Robert Thornton? Robert Thornton. Well, to Richardson first. missed a dart to go 4 2 up. He's just missed darts to go 5 4 up and throw for the match. 96. 17 missed darts at double for James Richardson. It's strange, isn't it, when you see the average in the 80s, and yet One that's the seventh maximum of the match. The scoring has been good. Richardson, four 100. out of 21. One hundred and forty. So Richardson in a spot of bother here. That'll help, but can Thornton, in six darts, win the match? Keeps him in the hunt, but at this moment in time, is a visit 100. behind the form. No finish, Richardson. Single five to leave tops. Well, to leave tops for Richardson. Thornton for the match. Double six. 75. Two match starts. James, you require 40. Oh. Nothing at himself there, because he can't James believe he's missed it. But he's got to get his composure back very quickly here. Because he does have the advantage of throwing first. Yep. 
Well, couldn't hit One, the double. But can hit the treble. That's five 180s in the last six legs for Robert Thornton. Yeah, since the break, scoring has been irresistible. <laughs> it's been beautiful. It's One, been absolutely fantastic. Well, Richardson joins the party with his fourth, but Fulton here has a chance. He has a chance. Come on, Robert. Oh! Incredible opportunity there from Thornton. Appreciated by the crowd. But now he's got to do the double. He's got to hit it. Three, four match starts. That's six in all. Oh. Not going to miss double 12 64. for a nine darter and lose the game, is he? Six. Well, James would four. you believe it? James, a few 74. moments ago, I missed double 12 for a nine, and now he could lose the match. Well, this would be incredible. 34. Richardson misses one for the match. Robert, what drama! Six. He's already missed eight match darts. Nine and counting. Ten. And still we count, and he can't find a way through. Well, this would be a miracle dart. Oh! Oh! What a dart from Robert, Robert Thornton! Well, that was incredible. Talk about eye of the needle from Robert Thornton. He just, just gets through, just gets over the winning line after just missing a nine data. Well, what a dramatic leg of darts. Thornton celebrates. He knows how important that might be. He missed the nine data, but he's through 6 5 over James Richardson.